I've worked in the DA's office for 21 years. Mr. Barber, is it fair to say that you spent your entire professional life practicing law? Yes. Enforcing the law? That's correct. Putting those who violate the law behind bars? Yes. Murder is against the law, is it not? It is. So, what happened here? I don't believe that what I did was murder. But when you went into Drew Householder's hospital room, he was alive. When you came out, he was dead. Somebody did something. Yes, I killed him. Um, but what I did, I don't believe that it was murder. Well, I'm starting to feel like we're walking a razor's edge here, Mr. Barber. It was a justifiable homicide. In other words, you had to do it? There were these, um, flowers on the table next to Drew's crib. Orange roses. He would never know how wonderful they are. He couldn't smell them. His mom was playing one of Bach's cantatas from her phone. The eternal Bach. Drew couldn't hear it. He'd never see a cloud, a rainbow, um, the sun, the moon. The bottom line is that he would never even know that these things existed. He didn't know if he was hungry or thirsty. He couldn't recognize the faces of his mother or his father. All that he did know, all that he would ever know, is the pain that was his so-called life. How do you know? The doctors say that his brain has stopped functioning. So he was dead already? So to speak. Surely you, as a man of the law, must be able to make a distinction between who's dead and who's alive. Courts have only dealt with this issue tangentially. In Roe v. Wade, the court implied that an unborn baby was alive when it could survive on its own. Could Drew Householder survive without being hooked up to all those machines? His doctors say that he could not. So, in effect, the life you took from Drew Householder wasn't really life to begin with, was it? Objection. All I know is that when I looked in his crib, I saw a baby who couldn't form the most basic thought of his own. He couldn't love. Or, or hate, or, or hope. And when I saw the pain, that, that the unutterable suffering that his existence was causing the two people who loved him most, I had to do something. Whether that meant going to prison or not. Does Mrs. Householder have sole custody of Drew? Um, no, uh, she, uh, she shares it with Mr. Householder. Did you confer with him before you hasten the death of his son? No. Do you feel guilty for what you've done? You feel guilty for what you're doing? I'll ask again, do you feel guilty for what you've done. I did what I felt was right. Mr. Barber, do you feel guilty, sir? I do. 